Your online storefront is the first thing your customers will see when they click into your website. So in today's tutorial, we will cover the steps to design your online store. To get started, let's navigate to custom page under online store. Click create a page to create a new page. Fill in your page title and update your page content. You can also edit the page SEO here. Once done, click Add. Next, we will learn how to create a landing page. You may need a landing page to run a campaign or other sales events. Under Online Store menu, click Landing Page. Then, click Create a new page. Name the landing page and select a template. Click Create. You will then come to the editing page. On the left bar, you will see the functions to edit the header and footer. Add a component to showcase products and provide the necessary information on the page. Click Actions to preview or publish the landing page. This is the preview page. Let's go back to the previous page and click Publish. Now, let's head back to the landing page tool. If you click Operation for a draft page, you can choose to go to the page settings, publish the page or delete it. For a published page, there are additional options to hide or preview the page. You are not allowed to delete a published page, so you have to first hide it before you can delete the page. Under Settings, you will be able to edit the SEO details, as well as to retrieve the page URL, which will be useful if you want to include the landing page into your navigation menu, which is what we will be covering next. Now, go to Navigation under Online Store. Both Main Menu and Footer are system preset navigations. They can be edited but not deleted. Click Create the Navigation to create more. Edit the navigation name here. Click Add the menu item to start adding menus for your customers to navigate around the store. Name your menu. Then, select the system's preset pages or custom pages you created here. You can also enter a link into the referral URL field to redirect the menu to a landing page you created 
or an external site. Click Add to Save. To create submenus, click the plus sign to link a new page as a submenu. Or click this arrow to place the menu you have created as a submenu. Use this to click and drag the menus to change the order. Once done, click Add. To edit or delete the menu, simply click into the menu and delete or update accordingly. Now, you will be introduced to Team Shop. Navigate to Design under Online Store. Let's switch the tab to Team Shop to view all available teams. You can also use the drop-down menu to view the recommended teams for different product categories. Else, feel free to browse on the teams. Let's select a team here. You can directly add the team or click preview to view how the team looks like when applied to your store. It's also available for mobile preview by clicking on the icon here. Or, you may also use your phone to scan the QR code to view it on mobile. Click Add Team to add the selected team to My Team. All selected teams will be found under My Team for easy switching. The published team, which is the team you are currently using, will be displayed here. Under Team Library, you will find the selected but unpublished teams. To switch teams, simply click on the Operation drop-down menu and Publish. You can also perform the different actions as shown in the drop-down menu. Click Design to start designing your site. Using the tools on the left bar, you have the options to edit header, footer, and add components. The top icons here allow you to switch between desktop, mobile, and full screen view. Now, let's select header to set it up. Firstly, upload your logo. Set the logo width to your preference. You can create a notice board which will be displayed as an announcement bar. Click Add Content to add more. Add URL or link it to a page here if you wish to redirect your customers when they click on it. Next, let's set the navigation menu. Click Change to select the menu that you want as the main navigation. Click Done. Click Edit menu if you want to make changes to the navigation. Select the preferred navigation layout for the location of the logo and menu. Explore the remaining settings and preview them live to ensure the page design fits your preference or brand. Once completed, click Finish.
By default, there are a few components that have been preset for you. You can hide any of them by toggling the eye icon here, or delete them. Simply click on any of the components to further customize it. Where necessary, just upload the images and insert the text, or even change the colors. Click Add Component for more template choices catered for different products and content. Click and drag on the dots on the right to sort the order of the components. Next, we'll walk you through the footer settings. Next, we will walk you through the footer settings. The footer content can include custom content for adding text and image, logo, email subscription, and quick navigation. Similar to header, you can toggle these options to manage the footer. Click Finish once you are done. You can also undo or redo the changes by clicking the icons here at the top. To design other pages, you can use the drop-down menu here to select the pages. Choose Collections List to edit the Category List page. As you can see, header and footer are editable from whichever page you're editing. Click here to add and select the product categories you want to display. Under Settings, choose if you want to display all categories or only the selected ones above. Hover on or off the page title, adjust the image size and number of columns. Then, click Finish. Next, we will edit the Collections page, which is the page of the product list within a category. Here, you can customize the display of the collection header. Click on product list to customize the product list appearance. Decide where to display the descriptions and how many columns and rows to display. Toggle on or off the product sorting option. Moving on, Select Products to design the Product Details page. Select the product component to edit. Then, edit the product image style as tiled or thumbnail. So those that we have covered are the more essential pages that we recommend you to edit. Continue setting up the rest of the pages through the same drop-down menu once you have completed those pages. To further customize the website, Go into Team setting here. Here you can change the colors for the various components of the website, such as the background, text, buttons, header, footer, as well as graphic and text overlay. Under Typography, you can edit the settings differently for title and body text. Change the font type to follow your brand style, and you can go into the details like font size, spacing, and capitalization of text. Next, you can change how the products will be viewed in product list and individually on a page, whether or not to display the discount and the display style. Select the card opening mode. Customize your checkout page by adding logo, images, and changing the colors. Add your social media accounts if you want to include them. Lastly, add the browser icon or favicon.
make sure to click Save. You can click here to view the newly designed store. Remember to keep your design and content informative and engaging as you want the visitors to continue browsing your store and eventually make purchases.